Hello. Well, this is the first time that I think I've probably done a video blog. I might have done a little one before, but I just got this new, um, it's a waterproof camera um, that I got for when I go away, I take it away to Spain. Um, if I want to go in the sea swimming or in, in the pool or whatever, I can just jump in with this and it's a bit of fun, that's all. But I thought I'd try it on the little tripod that I got of it and do a quick video blog because I haven't got a lot of time to write stuff at the moment, but I am going to do some. Um, <clears throat> The blogs will be basically Ubuntu, Linux stuff. Um, I have already done some short blogs on, on the Ubuntu phone and on the um, Intel CompuStick, which is this. Um, now this, to be honest with you, if you're looking at the Ubuntu one, I wouldn't buy it. It, it really, this is probably the worst thing device that I bought that, that's come with Ubuntu on it. Uh, it's got a gig of RAM and something like 8 gig or 16 gig of storage and it's, it's not enough. Um, for one, the storage isn't enough. Once you've, once you've installed it, you don't have a lot of room left. Uh, I put in an SD card and hacked it and put my home directory on the on the, um, the SD and that, that fixes that, but running Unity needs more than a gig of RAM. Um, it's, it's pretty unusable. So I installed uh, Lubuntu 2 on it desktop and that's usable and I haven't really played with it a lot but it made it so that it was a lot better it's a lot like more lightweight um but one thing to do with this is um I'm thinking of uh, adding transmission for torrenting and plex media server and um uh, music media sharing and camera share um camera cctv server on this um so you could basically plug this into your telly um, and view your cameras on it in your house um, do a bit of downloading and stream movies across your network and music I think that's what would be a good use for for a hundred quid you could get a nice little media server it takes an SD card so I don't see why you couldn't get a 256 gig one uh, or it has got a USB slot so you could stick a you know like a terabyte of storage so it'd be, it'd be great for a media server as a, as, a, as a, you know as desktop goals mm, it's a bit if you if you ask me but I'm going to do some more testing with that so I'll, I'll, I'll do a blog on that very soon um, but as I say if you're going to buy one I would buy the Windows version and hack it and put Ubuntu on it because that's got 2 gig of RAM and 32 gig storage that will be usable as a desktop um, the other bit of kit this is the Ubuntu um, BQ 4.5 uh, I've had this from day one um, I've been waiting for one of these to come for ages um, it's a great phone. Uh, it has been a bit of a problem lately, um, but uh, I decided what I was going to do was do a full wipe on it. Um, so basically, download the image, and when you do the reinstall, it doesn't do a, a full wipe. It just basically resets it back to factory, but there's still stuff lying around. So I did um, install the image with the wipe option, and since I've done that, this phone is great. Um, basically since i've set it up um i've set up my i've got a nook box which is a small intel computer which uh, is hosting my own media server um, cctv server and it has an own cloud on it which basically is um it's like when you use you know google you it'll share you can put your contacts on there it'll get your contacts your events calendar events well my own cloud does that but not through google um, it's my own personal information so I'll keep it myself in an own cloud and I've also installed the own cloud command um, line um, stuff which will sync all my data and stuff with my laptop and stuff so if I, if I drop some music on my laptop into a folder it, it, it appears on my phone um, the own cloud um, debs that were kicking around the installs were for the phone were out of date with a new own cloud so I managed to find three new files I'm going to blog about that. You put them onto your phone, and uh, basically, I've got a cron script running uh, every hour, and that um, that cron script basically updates calendar, contacts, um, all my documents, my music, my photos. So if I take a photo, like before, I took a photo on this, um, and it just popped up on my laptop before. So, um, and as I say, that's all in my own cloud. Um, there is a couple of plugins that you can put into own cloud. You can put, um, there's a OneNote, like a, if you use Evernote, uh, instead of having all your data on there, there is a, a Note plugin which I'm going to be testing. 
Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that out next week, and um, so that I'm basically fully contained into my own cloud, so I haven't got like data scattered around on all these different servers that you don't really know who's going to access it or you know like if there's a lot of email addresses on, on their own phone numbers are they harvesting it so yeah i'm going to do a bit of blogging about um create setting up your your own own cloud box um but also i'll probably do a, a blog on this so basically that's my dell xps sputnik um that's a proper ubuntu laptop uh, i've had that f for years now it's, it's absolutely great I've just updated that to the new version 1510, um, which is Willy Werewolf. Um, I'll probably do a little blog on that. It's all right um, with the new versions and stuff, but I, I'm starting to discover that it, it's probably, what I'm doing with my stuff is I'm, I'm starting to go LTS now. It's like going back a couple of years, um, the released Ubuntu 1404, um, which has a, an LTS which means it has a, a lifetime of five years update. So it basically the lifetime on it is till 2020, I think. So you wouldn't have to do a disk upgrade on, on, on the computer or on, on, on your laptop or whatever. So I might actually put this back to 1404 and, and run the long term on that because I'm, I'm not really seeing much benefit on the newer versions. Um, the good thing about Ubuntu and Linux is you can put PPAs on, which which is basically that's how you get your software from a repository. Um, now you can put a PPA on so you'll get the latest versions of the software anyhow. So I I'm thinking now at the precise moment in time, all my stuff I'm just going to run them um, on the uh, LTS distributions. My Nutbox basically come up with an upgrade the other day. Um, my Nutbox is like a little Intel box and it and it holds. It has CCTV zone minder, has an own cloud, it has transmission download and is a music server, Plex server, which does all my media and videos. And I went with the up, up, the update and it basically just knackered it, killed it. So all the work that I'd put into it, I had to start again. It's like two days work to get it all working back again. And that's because I was running Vivid on it, which is not a lot LTS distribution. So I just thought well I'm just going to go back to an LTS and it's absolutely great I put the latest repositories on for own cloud um, and transmission server and um, and also the Plex um, and uh, Cantata which is a MPD music player which shares out the music and stuff um, so I'm happy with that now so uh, you know with Ubuntu and stuff if you're going to do any media server stuff um, I'd go LTS um, definitely there's no need to go for the new distributions there's not a lot in it you just add the PPAs um, <clears throat> well I've been doing it I've, I'll probably do a blog on uh, my raspberries as well I've got the raspberry PIs I've got two running in the house um, and they're running uh, OSMC which is if you do a search for raspberry MC um, and what I've done with them is I've, I've added they see my, my Nook box, the media server, um, and they've got the file set up as Samba shares. Um, so that's how it's seen. It's like file sharing it. That's how it's seen the pictures, the music, and and the movies. And now I've got a client on here uh, called Codimo. And basically when I open it up, I can connect to any of the raspberries, and I can browse the films, and I can click play, pause, and then I can basically walk into that room and click play and it'll play it. So I can basically line up the film or whatever I want to watch um, before I even go into the room. Um, so that's a handy little feature that I'm going to show. Um, and definitely Cantato is worth looking at. If you're looking at sharing your music and controlling it from your phone, um, I'm going to do a how-to for that, which um, is pretty straightforward. And I have, a, I have Cantato on here. Um, I've got a computer over there that's got the music on and I can control it from here. So if I'm sat in the front room and I want to add another album or, or change the album, I just do it from my phone. I don't actually have to get up to the computer to do it. So I've got quite a lot of new stuff to be blogging about there. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else. Um, yeah, that's it with the computer stuff. Um, and myself, I'm just basically um, just chilling out a little bit this week. I'm going to... Took a little bit of time off because I've just set up my re my recording stuff again, and I'm just um, 
I've got myself another bass, which is a status six, which I want to try and do a little bit of recording with. And I got, I wrote a song a couple of weeks ago, and I just wanted it to be a bit quirky and a bit different at the beginning, so I, um, I fancy a uke on it. So I've got, I managed to pick myself up a ukulele, so I'm just going to be doing some recording with that. I'll take some pictures and put that on my blog. Um, but apart from that, um, nothing else really. But just keep your eye out for my new blogs on the Ubuntu stuff. And if you're interested in um, any like media server stuff or setting up home CCTV media server box, um, just give me a shout if you're looking at using Ubuntu or open source technologies, any flavours of Linux, I can tell you how to do it or if you need some configuring doing, um, just get hold of me at um, info at wayneward.co.uk. Okay, nice seeing you. Bye.